Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi again everyone So um, in this video I would like to continue the previous example of PID design Okay, So we designed PID controller using um, a sketch, root local sketch and um, using calculation manual calculation so in this video I'm just going to uh, repeat the same example but using the MATLAB a control design toolbox so um, if you recall in the previous video we have um, control system problem where the forward path transfer function G is given here uh, S plus 8 uh, over S plus 3, S plus 6, S plus 10 so we have a 1 0 and 3 poles right so we want to <coughs> so this is how the problem looks like okay we want to design a PID controller uh, for this uh, negative unity feedback system to recall this example you can refer to the previous uh, YouTube video right where we design it using um, we sketch the root locus we do some manual calculation right based on the effect of adding new poles and zero right so in this case we want to use a MATLAB tool to assist us in doing so so in MATLAB I have a uh, key in a very simple um, line to just two lines actually okay this is how you key in the forward pass transfer function uh, zero pole and gain so we have uh, zero at minus eight and poles and then the gain okay the second line is just um, to perform the feedback of that forward path so if we run this small m file you can see that uh, the transfer function will be keyed in okay as so GUC then the feedback unity feedback system okay so that's already in the uh, workspace okay the variable GUC the G for pass transfer function is already in the workspace so I'm going to show you how to use this apps called so if you have installed the control system design and analysis toolbox you will click uh, control system design okay and you will see this window okay so we will use this tool to help us design the PID controller so the first thing you need to do is uh, to check the architecture okay the architecture of our system so this is the one that we are interested in where the controller is in the forward path the rest are not covered in class so I'll just show you roughly but this is what we want so by default all these gains are set to 1 okay so we want to upload the transfer function for our G right from the workspace so all we need to do is just click G and click GUC our variable and click upload click OK and then what the toolbox will do is to plot the root locus okay, of that transfer function and the boot plot okay so since we are not so that's the root locus that's the boot plot since we didn't cover boot plot so let's just remove this boot plot so there you have it <coughs> the root locus has been drawn for you and the step response also has been drawn for you so in the root locus you can move the uh, the poles okay manually to wherever you want uh, according to the locus and the gain will the step response and the gain at that particular point will be shown at the bottom part of the graph okay if, if you look at it carefully while I'm moving moving the poles at the bottom right half of the graph you will see the current gain that will give the uh, 
the current location of the pole and the gain. Okay, so we want okay, so that's the gain. Okay, forty-four point nine eight four. That would be the point, the gain that you will use if you want to have the point at that particular location. So next, we will we want to achieve uh, the over overshoot and peak time. Okay, so what you can do is you can add design requirements. So in this case, um, we want to have yeah percent over overshoot less than 20% right <clears throat> so all you need to do is click ok there and you will see that the system um, the app will draw the 20% overshoot line so we, we know we want our locus or our routes to be on that line right and from the specifications we also wanted to have a peak time so from the new peak time we have the imaginary part to be 15 right okay if you want to go into details you can watch the previous video but we can add a line okay so we can add a design requirement we want we can add this imaginary horizontal line with the value of minus uh, sorry 15 okay imaginary part value 15 and the real part you can just put in uh, you, you need to specify two points here so here I've put in just a very big number minus 200 and minus 15 but actually we want it to be positive easier to see so let's just adjust that okay so you can see the horizontal line there but let's just draw a positive horizontal line just right click and edit so let's just change the imaginary to positive 15 and then we'll have a positive 15 in line so that's where we want our new point to be right to give the 20% overshoot and the peak time of two-thirds of the original peak time okay so the intersection of the 15 and the 20% overshoot line will be the design point. So we want to move the locus to intersect that particular point. Right? And we know we can do that by adding a real zero. So let's do that. So if we click the uh, controller, okay, we can edit that. Now it's just again, we want to add a real zero. So you can just add any value, a real zero. So I'm just adding minus 10. Okay, without any calculation. So once you do that, you will see that the new zero minus 10 will be, okay, it's added there and it's added in the root locus. So we can actually move this controller zero uh, anywhere we like along the real axis so as we move the zero you can see the locus the root locus changes so we want to try to make the locus to intersect the design line as shown there so now it's intersecting that particular point so now we can move the poles the the red dot there upwards to cross the intersection point okay so that is let's just be careful there let's just try to make it at that particular intersection and you can see that now um, the step response has a it has a less than 20% overshoot okay now that I think that's that's okay and you can see that the zero that I have added is minus 51 right minus 51.13 and you can also check the step response so we are almost there already okay very quickly we have chosen the zero and now let's add the poles close to the origin 
and 0 right so we want to add an integrator to remove the steady state error so let's add the uh, pole first to be at 0 at the origin and then let's add a 0 close to the origin so as suggested in the text uh, the text use the value of minus 0 0.5 so let's just see it's anywhere the value can be anywhere close to 0 so in the previous video I used minus 0 0.1 we can also use minus 0 0.5 and then you can keep try to get the gain move the red dot the, the, the poles to intersect there let's zoom in make it easier so let's move that red dot to intersect the black lines okay. because we want to find the gain that will give the that will move the locus to that particular point so you can see now the gain is 5.6 poles at 0 and then the zeros at 51.5 you can see we already achieved our design very quickly right no calculation very very minimum calculation now you can see here side by side I'm showing you the gain 4.4 using my lab 5.6 the poles okay you can you can change you can change uh, the, the, the location of the zero and you can use a different gain very quickly using this design tool but that's not far okay you can see we already achieved the percentage 20 percent overshoot uh, and then the steady state error of zero okay, and the peak time is also faster than the original the original response okay and you can click at the step response to find the uh, when the time the peak occurs and what will be the amplitude so it's 1.14 which is less than 1.2 okay, less than 20 percent okay so that's all you can uh, experiment and and uh, use this control system designer tool to to improve the design or to solve other problems okay i hope that helps thank you for your attention see you next time bye bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh